My name is Mike Bullard, um, Chef Director at the Butcher Social in Henley and Arden. Um, we've been here now for three years. So the first dish that we're doing today is Jerusalem artichoke risotto, comfy egg yolk and scraps. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Jerusalem artichokes, we're going to dice them really, really fine, uh, just like a grain of rice. So we're not actually using rice, we're using the artichoke as a substitute and we're going to cook it like a risotto. So we're going to cook it, cook down some shallots, garlic, white wine, reduce that down, add in the artichokes, add in the stock, reduce that down, add a bit of cream and finish it, season it. And then we're gonna finish that on top with a comfy egg yolk on the top of that. The scraps is those little batter pieces that you find at the bottom of your fish and chips. Those lovely crispy bits that everyone always likes eating. And we use that as a little bit of texture on, on top. And then we'll put some micro herbs on the top of that. And it will just be a lovely rich dish. The second dish that we're doing is a loin of venison with a faggot pie with some cauliflower, some romanesco, and we're gonna finish that with a port and juniper jus, and some fresh blackberries, a little bit of blackberry puree, and it's really kind of autumnal, going into the winter dish. The, the venison's lovely and local, we get it probably three or four miles down the road, which is great. And because we get the whole carcass, we wanna make sure that we use all of it, we don't waste any of it at all. So all the liver, the kidneys, the little bit of heart that we get, that all goes into a faggot mix, which we mix with a little bit of pearl barley, and then we put it into like a suet pudding, and then we finish that on the, on the plate. And the third dish that we're gonna do today is pan-fried Scottish sea trout. And we're gonna do that with some nice sea vegetables, salty fingers, samphire, and we're gonna do that with some hen of the wood mushrooms, which are lovely, they're fresh in give it a bit more of a meaty taste. And then we're gonna finish that with a jus gras, which is a lovely kind of white wine cream sauce that we use a little bit of demi-glace in. And then we're gonna split it with a little bit of chicken fat, just to give it that little bit of bolst, give it that real rich finish. 